My name's Johnny. How's it going, Joker Fam? It's your boy, Haha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back out again. Another mad video for you guys. And today, as you guys know, we have a lot of players to go over. A lot of upgrades, man. Team Builder, AR Team Builder, Team Diamond definitely gave us a lot of upgrades, man. So we're gonna go ahead, jump into it, and we're gonna get into a few things with the team, Team Diamonds, and then of course, get you guys game. So real quick before we get into all this content, man. If you guys enjoy videos like this, man. If you guys enjoy Raiders Steam Team videos or Dolphins Steam Team videos or just Steam Team videos in general, make sure you guys drop a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. It only takes one second. And also feel free to comment down below your thoughts and opinions on Team Diamond, your thoughts and opinions on the 92s, your thoughts and opinions on the 95s, which I will be giving in this video. When you guys comment down, or if you guys don't have anything to comment, you guys can comment down below, Joker fan. You guys comment down below it helps push the algorithm helps get the video out to more people but with that being said team diamonds raider lester haynes comes in at six foot two 92 speed 94 acceleration 90 agility 89 jump 88 play rec 92 man coverage 91 zone coverage 92 press now we're gonna get into everybody else also um as we go along but the key thing to keep in mind with these team builder players is that these guys are just players you know what i'm saying they don't get any discounted abilities or nothing like that so if you already have your if you don't have your ap on someone that this team diamond player is replacing then there's not going to be much of a need to even worry about putting abilities on that set player you know what i'm saying so if you have pick artists on a corner and you're planning on picking up lester haynes then great you know you just put pick artists on lester but if you don't have pick artists on your corner then there's no need to worry about putting pick artists on Lester Haynes when you replace that corner. You know what I'm saying? It's not that you won't get nothing out of it. But next up, we have Vic Beasley coming in at six foot three, 91 speed, 93 acceleration, 83 strength, 90 tackle, 87 play rank, 90 block shed, 71 power move, 92 finesse move. Now, once again, we do have speedster on Vic Beasley. Once again, one AP. We had the AP to utilize that. So very happy about this. Does speedster really help with the pass rush game? I don't know, to be honest. But we have it on him just to see. Hopefully, we get a little bit of better pass rush just sending the basic four to three players or whatever the case is. But again, 91 speed, 93 acceleration. Can't really beat that. Very good off the edge. So hopefully, he'll get busy for us. Now, to the offensive side of the ball, we have Michael Crabtree. And I guess we get to do Deshaun Jackson also because they're in comparison with each other. So, Michael Crabtree comes in with 92 speed, 92 jump, 90 catch, 90 catch of traffic, 92 spec, 92 short route running, 90 medium route running, and a 90 deep route running. Now, Michael Crabtree will be replacing Moss on this team. Now, once again, there is no issue with Moss. This is, in my opinion, for content purposes only. There is a good chance that we sell Crabtree back to go pick up Moss. Cause once again, there's nothing wrong with Moss. I, I think they have, I think they, I believe they have the same speed, but Crabtree does beat him out in all the other stats, which once again, it is what it is, but there's nothing wrong with Moss. Moss is going for about 100, 200 K. There's Michael Crabtree is going for about 700 to 800 K. You know what I'm saying? So, in my opinion, I'm better off picking up Moss. And here's the other thing, too. For some of you guys that are doing the head-to-head -head rank also, if you guys get two champion, you guys get that six foot seven or whatever he is, receiver, gets all Team Kim. So more than likely, he's going to end up replacing Crabtree at some point anyways. So it is what it is. Or Deshaun Jackson, whoever it might be, one of these guys will get replaced and both of them are going for about 700 800k so there's not really a need to keep both of these guys if you are doing head-to-head -head ranked now deshaun jackson once again he is going to be one speed faster his um since he's being compared like this it doesn't show up but he is going to be one speed faster so at 93 speed he'll have 85 jump 90 catch 88 catch in traffic 88 uh spec 88 short route running 89 medium and a 93 deep route running once again Tyreek Hill 2.0, same height, so it, it is what it is. But again, it's good having him in the game, so i um, very happy about that. Now, once again, guys, these are all 92s. You guys can pause the video, whatever, look at the rest of the team. I'm not going to really go into anybody else. But as far as the 95s, how they're doing Team Diamonds this year, um, not a fan of it. 
not a fan of it. Very money grab move of them to do this this way this year. Essentially, <clears throat> the only way you're getting one of these 95s is if you are doing the sets. And to me, if you're not spending at least a ridiculous amount of coins to at least get one of these guys, one of the 95s, it's almost impossible unless you pull him which once again that time has passed i believe the packs are no longer they're not even in the stores anymore so you know it, it is what it is it, it, even if the pack was in the store i wouldn't even spend that much money like 80 you're like you're essentially spending a hundred dollars for the hundred dollar bundle i believe the odds on it was like 20 percent to pull the 95 i'm sorry bro it's not worth it at 20 percent Nah, man, I'm, I'm good on that. But either way, man, we're going to go ahead and jump to the game. Let's see how our new team builder upgrades play. And defense is going to change a little bit, but we'll get into that in the gameplay. All right, Jeff Pemps, so we found ourselves in game. Ty Law, Sauce, and Calvin Ridley. Not bad, not bad. Girls our team, so let's get into it. All right, Jeff Pemps, so starting out on offense first, man. Uh, Deshaun Jackson to the right, Crabtree to the left. So we're going to definitely see how they fare against uh, better corners because he got Ty Law and Saw. So we'll see how these guys do. Not this play, though. Take our check downs. It really sucks to have one of the best O-lines in the game and just still don't get enough protection. It really is unfortunate. Let's go, D-Jack. That's what I like to see. There we go, DJ. Let's go, Crabtree. I like it. Let's go, Crabtree. All right, Joker Crabtree. So we're out here on defense, man. Um, yeah, I missed the extra point because um, I'm ass. So, you know, it is what it is. But either way, man, we are running 6-1 even now. Since now we got Vic Beasley, we have another good edge rusher. Um, I feel like 6-1 is definitely going to be uh, a little bit better. Somehow Lester gets... I, I swear, everybody gets toasted by corner routes. Like, there's nothing I can do about that. Let's go. Good defense. We'll take that. All right, Joker Fam. So, we're in the second half, man. Very happy about the uh, fourth down stop that we got. So, hopefully, we can lock in. Either get another one, get a pick. All of it would be amazing. I don't understand, bro. Like, I... There we go. There's some pressure. It's about time. Give that up. Right down the scene. Let's go, Tyreek. So I guess we won't worry about that too much. Get sick. I should have just dove. This is crazy. Of course, I threw a pick. A pick six, no less. Maybe not. Uh, got greedy. How did you not get to the end? It's like everybody just stopped moving. Everybody stopped running. All right, Joker Fam. So, found ourselves another game, man. That last game was so disappointing, bro. Just terrible. All right, starting on defense. Jesus, man. Mm. 
I'm just getting just outran, bro. Holy hell. Less Lester Haynes, what are you doing? All right, we're on offense. Um, I don't know how Lester got beat that bad. I don't know if he just got caught in a press animation and just lost or what. I mean, that was a terrible read. I'm surprised he caught it, but. I don't know what Crabtree was doing, but appreciate it, I guess. I don't. All right, back on defense, man. Um, At least I'm not missing extra points, so I guess that's a positive start for what that's worth. Oh, I fucked up. Making adjustments. I just died. Oh, my God. All right, back on offense, man. We are just not having a good go of this game right now. I tried to do too much. Oh, well. Hopefully, I don't pay for that. Okay. You didn't pay for it. All right, yo. I'm back on defense. We're going to have to... Just keep spying because apparently this guy loves taking off running. And apparently, man, I can't I can't be mad about that because it's Justin Jefferson going against Charles Woodson. And Justin Jefferson is obviously like two speed, three speed faster than him. So I can't be mad about that. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't press. Don't press. Please back up. Okay, never mind. Didn't matter. It's a double move that I'm getting hit with. Give me that. Thank you. Anthony Walker. Let's go. Dolphins middle linebacker. Let's go. Just didn't get enough time in the pocket. Take that. Josh Jacobs. See if he throws on us another pick. I'm with it. Good pressure. See, I wish I can get pressure like this, but like he's just running up the middle like every time. Yeah. Oh my lord. <laughs> like I'm not even mad about the catch. The catch. It is what it is, but two broken tackles. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man. Got him. Crabtree, yes sir. So we made the adjustments that we need to run this. So we're gonna do this for a little bit. Run some three four. Just to see up. Thank you. Good. I'm happy to see it. I'm happy to see it. That's a little payback for those two broken tackles. I'm with it. Thank you. Quit out. Like, holy hell, bro. All right, Joker Fab. So, we're going to go ahead and end gameplay right there. First game was absolutely dog shit. You know, it is what it is, man. Um, But second game, way better. Um, Defense, moving beautifully. Very happy about it. So, <clears throat> here's the thing for some of y'all. Just the... Give you guys my two cents on it, real quick. Team Diamond players, who you, who you should pick up, who you should not pick up. Now, once again, like I said for the receivers, it depends on if you guys are playing head-to-head -head ranked or you even if you're not and you know you're just whatever. You only need one of these receivers. All right, Moss is still a very good card. Okay, so you only need either Deshaun Jackson or Michael Crabtree. All right, personally, I will go Crabtree. All right, the speed is great for Deshaun Jackson, but at, at the end of the day, plus one speed over some, if if you do have a plus one speed advantage over these corners, be honest with you, it's not gonna make a difference either way. You know what I'm saying? You might as well go with the height, um, better run blocker, 
um, bigger receiver. You might as well just go with him. So, in my personal opinion, if it's up to me, which I'm going to do after this video, I'm probably going to end up selling Deshaun Jackson and just moving on and getting the receiver from um, the head-to-head -head rank, um, head -head rank shit. Defensively, obviously, Lester Haynes is going to be a must-pick up for a lot of people. Even if you're not running a Raiders theme team, he's one of the best corners in the game. So, it is what it is on that. Vic Beasley, don't really need him. Pass rush is what it is. Most of the time, people are... Most people's pass rushing is based off of glitch blitzing anyway. So, Vic Beasley is kind of useless in that manner. So, there's not really much need of picking him up. But, either way, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, man. If so, make sure you guys drop some likes on that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. Only takes one second. That being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright? Peace.